like Chrisiata rightly said treat your code and that's on period so if you don't shine your eyes somebody will take you to cruise and by the time you realize the person is getting married the next weekend the person is getting married like in a couple of months times sis if he thinks you are not worth his commitment then what are you doing there like are you a girlfriend are you a side chick are you a booty call who are you he's like babe my enemies are after me send me money <laughs> no flee from these kind of guys hey guys what's up and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is naku alute and you're most welcome to my channel however i would really do love for you to stay so kindly hit the subscribe button below to join my amazing youtube family to my returning viewers and subscribers thank you so much for coming back i don't even know why i'm wearing this to be fair nobody should ask me why i'm wearing this but anyways like i i took some pictures um in this attire for like for the gram you know and i'm just feeling lazy to go change so i guess i'm just gonna wear this for this video i know it's a little bit too much like i look like a disco ball but we move so <laughs> so as you can see from the title of today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys you should avoid dating in your 20s today's video is specifically for my ladies like guys you need to avoid dating in your 20s so i just want to start this whole um 20s series on my channel because your girl is about to you know go up to the third floor soon so i'm going to be sharing with you guys like things i learned in my 20s like everything 20s so get ready for a couple more videos from my 20s series today i'm going to be sharing with my ladies guys you need to avoid dating in your 20s like you need to run from these guys like flee <laughs> Dating in your 20s is a bit, you know, ghetto because you are still trying to maneuver your way or like, I don't know how to put it, but like Chrisiata rightly said, treat your code and that's on period, like treat your code. So if you don't shine your eyes, somebody will take you to cruise and by the time you realize the person is getting married the next weekend, the person is getting married like in a couple of months time. So shine your eyes ladies okay so the first type of guys i'm going to be talking about i call them the go with the flow kind of guys like these are the guys who are scared to commit and so they just tell you like let's just go with the flow and if you also accept to go with the flow like bear in mind you have accepted to go in the flow and in that place like what is your position in the person's life you don't have any like label stacks like are you a girlfriend are you a side chick are you a booty call who are you so if you accept to go with the flow mostly in these kind of relationships it's hard for you to complain when like he's doing something and you don't like like it's so hard for you to complain because at the end of the day you have accepted to go with the flow so who are you to go complain like you are not my girlfriend you are not um they are not exclusive sort of we've not put tags to the relationship so if you also accept to go with the flow then really it means that you have to tolerate almost everything that he does because you are going with the flow and sincerely yeah i see these type of guys to be players especially after you've been dating them for like a couple of months and he's still telling you let's go with the flow like where are we headed really and only god knows the number of you know other girls they are going with the flow with so these kind of guys are like proper players like you don't meet me and then tell me let's go with the flow and then after like a couple of months we are still going with the flow no so run away from these kind of guys so the next type of guys are the inconsistent guys funny enough yeah i've experienced both you know a consistent guy and an inconsistent guy so i know what i'm talking about the inconsistent guys are the ones that like today they are blowing cold tomorrow they are blowing hot like they just switch like that they start something with you and then the next moment is another thing these are the type of guys that within like maybe a particular period like we are going out on dates come over to my end we are being all lovey-dovey and all of that and then the next moment no text 
no calls you don't hear from them no more dates no more come over to my house and it's just like a whole different person and with this kind of guys here they mostly have like another girl so they only need you when it's convenient for them when the other girl is around they don't know you when the other girl is around they catch you off like, not like entirely but then they catch you off you won't hear from them within that period like no text nothing when you text them it takes forever for them to reply like these kind of guys are also players you know but then with these ones you sort of know your position though you are a girlfriend the other girl is also a girlfriend so you don't know which of you is the side chick when this one comes around he doesn't know you when you are around he doesn't know the other one so it's like the two of you are dating one person and you don't even know who is the main chick and who is the side chick so these are the inconsistent type of guys and i don't know what do you guys think have you ever dated someone who is inconsistent before like let me know in the comment section let me know your experience because me i've experienced it before and it was not like it was not the like it, it's not the best thing to happen to a girl like it gets to a point that it even makes you doubt yourself right it makes you doubt like if you are good enough for him like what's the problem because today he's like this with you and then the next moment he's another person it makes you like doubt yourself so let me know if you've dated an inconsistent guy before and let me know your experience in the comment section the next type of guys that you should avoid in your 20s are the gold diggers like see it's not only girls who are gold diggers so it's not only ladies who are gold diggers we have guys who are gold diggers we have guys who are proper gold diggers because i have um, male friends who like tell me that oh like maybe they've met a girl and then within a span of two weeks or within a span of like a month the person starts to build them and then they think like you know she's a gold digger and all of that but we have guys who are also gold diggers and these kind of guys here they try to give the impression that they have it all they try to portray that lifestyle that they have it all but only focal like only focal these kind of guys have nothing but they try to to impress and once you start dating them the next moment you hear babe can you send me money babe can you send mobile money to this person for me babe i'm tired somewhere can you send me this amount babe 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 and by the time you realize you have turned into an atm machine by the time you realize you have turned into their bank and you are just you know distributing money left right center no flee from these kind of guys like flee because they are not there to you know add value to your life they are just there to spend the money if you've watched tinder swindler you would know what i'm talking about if you've not watched it too go watch it it's on netflix by the time you realize he's like babe my enemies are after me send me money <laughs> by the time you realize he's like babe my enemies are after me transfer money to my account babe this babe that babe that like there's a different story every day see flee from these kind of guys like just let them go i'm not saying that like if you're in a relationship you can't give your partner money that's not what i'm saying but then these ones are the ones who come into the relationship with that motive that they are coming to you know spend your money and that's not what we want like in our 20s we are trying to build something for ourselves we are trying to you know save in order in order to be financially stable in a couple of years to come so why do i have to spend my money on you like how do i save if that's that's your motive for being in the relationship then you are going to you know drain me so yeah flee from these type of guys okay so the next type of guys are the insecure guy and with these guys here i don't know if it's low self-esteem low confidence or what but it's i don't know these type of guys are the guys that are scared that like you would leave them or somebody would take them away from you and they tend to be overprotective they tend to be overprotective and sometimes if you don't take care it makes the relationship like toxic it becomes scary at some points like especially if it's to the extreme like i don't know but if i'm dating you if you are my man i expect that you know that i got you or you also got me and like 
don't police me around like I'm some I don't know don't police me around like I'm I'm your your child don't like monitor my life all in the name of you are insecure like if you are insecure like really i don't think i need i need my man to be confident enough to know that you know she's my woman and i don't know i just need my man to be bold like not this kind of insecurity i know women we say like men should like sometimes show their vulnerability and all of that like yeah insecurity is different from you being jealous insecurity is like for me especially if it's to the extreme it becomes scary because you don't know what the person can do to you all in the name of he's insecure all in the name of um he doesn't want to lose you all in the name of um he's scared that he will lose you and i feel like guys who are mostly insecure yet yeah, mostly like they are dating girls who are maybe a little bit above their social class like i don't know how to put it but obviously when there's like a huge difference like a huge gap between maybe the social class of the guy and then the social class of the girl or the lifestyle of the guy and the lifestyle of the girl this is what happens and so yeah dating an insecure guy can sometimes be toxic and even scary to some extent like i said if it's to the extreme so yeah avoid these kind of guys in your 20s like me i'm not ready to come and deal with somebody who is insecure and will be chasing me around no okay so the next type of guys are the forever bachelor type of guys like these guys have a whole different mindset trust me in their mind bachelors for life <laughs> So you know how um, some girls like in our 20s we want to date guys who are like um, older, like a bit matured, right? All in the name of um, these guys are matured, that's our mindset, right? And these kind of guys are like ready for a serious relationship and all of that and relationships that would lead to marriage and all of that. But bear in mind, not all older people are matured people, like you can be... 22 and be dating somebody who is like 32 and this person is living his life like he's 20 facts so yeah these are the type of guys that like they are old but they are not matured they are old but then their hashtag is you know bachelor for life so with these kind of guys like you the 20 something year old lady going into it in your mind oh this person is old and he'll be serious with me and all of that you are joking because his mindset is way different from your mindset like though he's 32 or 35 this person is out clubbing every night like friday saturday sunday this person is out there like living his life like these kind of people actually live their lives they are you know in their early 20s so if you encounter this type of person yeah in your mind oh i found an older person and yeah we're going to you know have a serious relationship and all of that no because their mindset is way different from yours and like i said forever bachelor bachelor for life so these type of guys actually tend to prioritize their chilling their jamming yeah you know friends gang over you the person that he's dating it becomes frustrating like how can i be in a relationship with somebody that i thought you know because you are older you are going to take me serious and you're not going to be doing the things that you know guys in their 20s are doing but then he is even doing worse <laughs> so yeah these type of guys are also you know guys you should avoid dating so the next type of guys are the unaspiring or unambitious type of guys you know in our 20s we are trying to build something for ourselves we are trying to like build the life that we want you get it so if i am trying to build something for myself if i have ambitions i have aspirations i would want to be with a partner who also has ambitions who has aspirations i'm not saying that like he should have it all figured out but then with these type of people like they don't even know what they want like they are just there and what's funny with these kind of people is that like when you go onto their like their social media yeah their snap their instagram whatsapp status like these kind of guys are always 
jarve like today they are popping bottles tomorrow they are at this restaurant tomorrow they are here and most of the times they are not even the ones who pay for those bottles to be fair like their friend buys the bottles and then they are just snapping the bottles and posting so if you are going to go by what you see from their social media and then think that oh this person has it all or this person like oh we see car so it means that you know you'll be comfortable sis shine your eye <laughs> because these people most of them are like you know living a fake life so if you go by what you see on their social media you'll be there thinking oh he has it all he has it all figured out and all of that and you are going to find yourself with somebody who is unambitious has no aspirations has no plans for his life and he's just you know like living life as it comes like whatever life offers him he's going with the flow you get what i mean but that's not the kind of guy we want like if i am trying to build something for myself in my 20s if i'm trying to be that girl in my 20s then i wouldn't want to be with you know an unambitious or unaspiring guy because i wouldn't know what the future holds for us like even in his 20s that he has the energy and all of that to you know fight to get something for himself he's just there living a fake life on on social media so what shows that when he's in his 30s or 40s like he would put in the work to you know acquire certain things for himself and all of that no so the last type of guys i'm going to be talking about are the emotionally unavailable type of guys so these guys are also um scared to commit and they give the excuse that oh they've been hurt before they've been heartbroken before um they've proposed to a girl who has rejected their proposal before and all of that so it's hard for them to commit like sis if he thinks you are not worth his commitment then what are you doing there like what does he want to see again because at the end of the day you are committed to him but he is refusing to commit because he's had like bad experiences everybody has had bad experiences before we've all been hurt before we've all been heartbroken before we've all been cheated on before but we've all like given ourselves the chance to do this whole relationship thing again so if you are coming to tell me um you don't want to commit or you are scared to commit because of your experiences then like what are we even doing because what shows that like in the next couple of months his mind will change about this whole you know commitment thing because at the end of the day in the next couple of months that's like bad experience or heartbreak or whatever it's still like an experience that you have it wouldn't have erased from your life it wouldn't have vanished from your life so what are you saying and with these kind of guys here i feel like they just don't want to commit to you that's that's it's as simple as that they just don't want to commit to you and they just want to have a thing with you nothing serious so they are using the whole commitment thing as an excuse trust me if they find somebody that they really want and they really want to commit to they would even forget about those their past experiences they'll forget about the fact that they've been heartbroken before they'll forget about the fact that they've been cheated on before they'll forget about the fact that they've proposed to somebody before and the person rejected them so the truth is he just doesn't want to commit to you all right ladies so these are the type of guys that i think you should avoid dating in your 20s um if you have like any experiences with any of these type of guys that i've i've mentioned like let me know in the comment section below um if you also have like any other type of guys that you think we should avoid dating in our 20s drop them in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next 20 series video um don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed to the channel and don't forget to drop a comment down below love you guys and i'll see you in my next video